Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys of Sector Head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Your kingdom is so teary. So I was, uh, I was just, you know, jumping around on the internet. I mean, no, I was jumping around the shrine. I noticed you could just ultra hand these doors open. That's w oh the oh, well that's so, dumb. So that's that part, but uh. The real trick to beating the shrine is kind Winning. of is kind of crazy, because you would think that, you know, if you see like you know you're playing Resident Evil, right? You're, yeah. You you you've gotten out of the house or out of the, off of the street or whatever, and you're in the the base. The, what do you call it? What, what do they call their base? Like the, the industrial part of every Resident Evil, where it, where it leaves the scary part and it goes to like the uh, oh, where it goes to like the. I don't know the, the ship, the ship, or the lab, or something. Yeah. And you, and you would see, you would see like something like these red lasers. You'd be like, oh, I should avoid those at all costs. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not what you do. You're oh my god! To, you're supposed to hit the red laser. Why would you ever think red lasers are safe? You're supposed to hit the red laser. It's the most asinine thing I've ever heard. You're supposed to hit the freaking hell! Okay, you don't hit those ones though. You don't. <laughs> So you don't hit every laser. No, you just hit the you just hit the first ones, of course. Why would you hit the, not all of them, just the first set? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I really gotcha. thought that I was beyond that thing. Okay, so there is a very small area in which you can stand and be safe. All right, baby. You roll up here. You grab up your key. I hate this. Which was very well hidden from you, huh? Yep. It would took me a while to figure this out. I would have never figured that out because I would have never ran into the lasers. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I kind I kind of agree. But it's cool, baby. We got it. We're on top Big of things. Big old baby boy with the keyboard, baby boy, keyboy. I told I told these I told the people before. If it takes me too long, we're just gonna cheat. I mean, look, we're not cheating. It's production value. I don't know what this does. Do I have to? If you touch it, you're gonna drop. Okay, so let's drop. Let's ultra hand. And this should be cool, right? Oh, do I have to crouch? No, you're all right. Freaking hell. Literally brought it right into the one spot you couldn't take it. It's fine. Who needs this thing? Not me. I'll tell you that much. You know what's crazy is I didn't think that, uh... I didn't think that, uh, it would, uh... You know, set it off with the ultra hand ability. All right, well, it didn't until you put the ball through it. Get rid of that thing. I thought that I, the ball missed it, to be honest. It's kind of hard to judge here. That's fine. What happens if I yep. just toss this bad boy? It just... doesn't touch the thing. <laughs> this happens if I just, you know, use guts and just be a brave boy. Global guts? What if I'm just brave? Oh, you're a brave boy. All right, so I got to I take this thing, set it right here, and just give it some momentum. Give it a little momentous occasion. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, we can we can go up higher. I think we can land. Can on. take me higher. I think we can well, land well, on well, it. Well, well, well. Fine. On the ground. Drag it. On the ground. Drag it. Put it across. All right. We're good to go, right? How do I get out of here? Can I crouch this? I don't think there's a chance in hell that I'm crouching under this thing. Just jump through it. Like, run and jump, and then, like, hopefully you'll... Yeah. Fair enough. Wow. Winna winna. Chicken dinner. Listen to Jonas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you came up with the answer, not the YouTube channel that I looked it up. <laughs> I just told you how to get through there. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. You can take all the credit in the world, sir. We're out of here. That's all that matters. We did it. Froggy armor. We're coming for you. All right. I swear. I swear it. Oof. We will get the froggy armor for Care Bear. It's Care Bear stare? Care Bear countdown, baby. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, give me a light of blessing. Oh my god, we did it. Two more lights of blessing. You can get a second row of heart. 
Isn't there usually a chest in these, though? You got mm. it. No, nah, it was a chest that got a key. Oh, the other chest had arrows. Yeah, you got it. Ew. What a gross chest. Yep. I agree. Oh, you can traverse lava and gloom in Minoru. Mm. Lava boy. Where's all your friends, by the way? I don't know. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Moved me to the edge. Little Uzi Vert. Okay. He made us on that. Snowfield Stable, we are here. Where's Birdman? We have found him. One more time, please. <clears throat> your story is really something. Mind going through it again? Just to make sure I have all the details right. Sure, no problem. We've been talking. We've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda. A golden horse. A golden horse. horse. But the oh. poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Hmm, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story. But tell me again, why the horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part. It isn't it. Uh, okay, what happened? I'd finished trend I finished trending to tending to the horses and was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. Then the gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right there in front of our stable. But then the princess came closer and the golden horse thrashed harder. Then the animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature. And when I looked back at the princess, she was gone. It happened so fast. So you lost sight of the horse and, and then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. Seems pretty strange. My sources uh, tipped me off about this, but I have to say, I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Hey, partner, you're here. I should have known it was you. Just look at you, uh, tiptoeing up to me like that. Scared the bejesus out of me. Oh, is this someone else from the newspaper? I mean, kind of technically. It's a side gig. This is the, that's right, it's my partner. Plenty of gusto. Aww. Would it be all right if he listens in now? Tell us everything you can remember. Oh, Jesus. Do I have to figure out a, a mission, like a mission, a mystery? <clears throat> Uh, all right, the horse got away. Truly loved the princess. She was respectful and protected it. She doted on the horse. But the horse was terrified at the sight. We already learned that these are fake, fake Zeldas running around. Okay. Yeah. Princess Zelda is known for uh, far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine the princess being terrifying at all. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I think of it. I catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. And I thought I could. <laughs> you just now given this? She had a cold expression? Oh, that's not like her. Maybe the princess was furious that the horse was getting away. I don't know. Where, if we've seen the horse, do I have to catch it? Is that what it is? <gasps> but that poor horse galloped away and never looked back. It went that way? I'm on a case. Uh -oh. But with a huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. The best I can do is keep keep the horses home here in the stable and uh, wait toward the return. I just hope somebody can help me out. Oh, don't worry, guys. I got it. Zelda's golden horse. Don't worry. I'm on top of things. You did it. Is that it? Do we have the armor? Oh. 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 Oh my god, it's a three headed. It's a it's a freaking Thunder Greelock, man. But you know what? We just beat the game. You think I'm scared of a freaking Thunder Greelock right now? Nope. No, nothing can defeat me. I think that you're actually more than prepared. I think I'm more than prepared too, sir. I got a Minoru on my back and Riju here, my main squeeze. Sorry, Zelda. Alright, this is the right direction, right? I even have it marked. I think we might have to defeat this thing in order to get the get the horse. Oh we'll, my god. We'll see. I'm gonna try to not uh deliver the smoke. 
But if the smoke should come, I will welcome it with open arms, all right? How about that? I will uh, agree that you need the smoke. I don't need the smoke. I'm just not going to turn away from it. When the fire goes up in flames, Jones will put my head right there into it and inhale deep. I breathe deep the smoke. You welcome in the air toxins. To yeah, arms. but if the smoke should, you know, if a, if a stiff breeze should take the smoke in another direction, then, you know, I don't need the smoke. Kind of want it, though. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see if we can see anything. We got a bat flying at us right now. Combative. A combative bat. <laughs> what is this over here? This is just foliage. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll head over in this direction. We'll head over to Smoker Friendly. Smoker Friendly. <laughs> that was the local uh, t t tobacco and tobacco shop. In Astrobula, you yeah. know that place? Tall oh, Thunder Greelock, you really don't wanna you really don't wanna put hands on me right nope, now. Sure doesn't. You really don't wanna do that, my man. Alright. Frost Greelock, that's a totally different state of affairs. Well look. We are not going to fight Frost Greelock right now. We are honestly out of time. Oh, God. That is a Frost That's a lot Greelock. of damage. That's a lot of damage. But on the next one. Uh, all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make up. sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. I actually died. TNT. <laughs> we out. Oh, it's a blue game over when I die to Frost. Oh, that's nice.